When I was shooting a video the other day, I went to review the footage and multiple clips would not play back. They had become corrupted, which can be the result of a faulty camera or SD card, sometimes the camera locking up, or even sometimes just the battery dying while you're recording. Now in my case, the camera had froze and rendered the clips unusable, and these were clips that I could not reproduce, so it was important that I could salvage them any way possible. Now I found some software that does just that, so let's see how it's done. All right, so first of all, you will need your corrupt file as well as a known good file. When the video file doesn't get finalized, the data that tells playback or editing software how to interpret the footage never gets written, and therefore it cannot be played. The good file here is going to share that information so that the recovery software can then interpret the corrupt file. The good file should be from the same camera with the same codec, resolution, and frame rate settings. The Recover MP4 version 1.92 software is available on videohelp.com, linked below. In addition, you will need a build of FFmpeg, which you can find with a Google search. This GitHub page is linked below as well, and I'm using the version for Windows 64-bit. Download the programs and extract. Drag the FFmpeg files from the bin folder to the Recover MP4 folder. Then copy your two video files into the folder as well. I like to make copies rather than use the originals, just in case anything goes wrong. Then rename the corrupt file bad.mp4 and the good file good.mp4 to help simplify things. Open command prompt by opening the start menu and typing cmd. Then right click the folder and click copy address. We want to change directories in command prompt to execute commands from this location. So in command prompt, type cd space, then control v to paste the folder location and hit enter. Now we want to extract the missing data from our good file. So type recover underscore mp4.exe good.mp4 dash dash analyze and hit enter. When this is done, open up WordPad and copy and paste this ffmpeg command. We're going to need this in a minute. Copy this command above and replace corrupted file with your corrupted video's file name, in this case bad.mp4, and hit enter. This will take a few minutes, but the software is now extracting the video and audio from your corrupted file. Now we can see two new files in our folder one video and one audio stream. In order to have a non-corrupt mp4 file, we need to combine these streams, and we will do this with an ffmpeg command that we copied and pasted in WordPad. So once again, copy the command from WordPad, paste it in command prompt, and press enter. This will take a few minutes again. When that process completes, you should have a new file in your folder, result.mp4, and it should be a playable mp4 recovered from your corrupted file. As you can see, my file is now completely usable. I hope this was helpful for some of you out there. Be sure to leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.